Welcome to Ready Nation. I'm your host, Holly Carter. I've got the latest news on your Henderson Readies. What can you remember about the 1970s? If you're my age, nothing. But if you're a little older, maybe you remember when a loaf of bread cost 24 cents, or playing with a Rubik's Cube, or spending hours staring at a lava lamp. Or maybe if you're from around here, you remember the Ready football team of 1974, the team that outscored their opponents by an average of 18 points a game, the team that lost only two games all season. Well, those athletes are the newest members of the Ready Hall of Honor after a ceremony on Saturday. The 74 team made it all the way to the NAIA championship game before losing to Texas A&I 34-23. Terry Blacklock quarterbacked the Reddies and earned first team all AIC honors. Basketball player Mike Peterson coaches Don Campbell and Billy Balk, swimmer Jackie Dunlap-Pitts, and football player Gary Weed also became members of the Ready Hall of Honor on Saturday. Stay tuned to see if this year Ready football team pulled out the upset against the Delta State University Statesmen. I want to make it rain. I want change. I want to be made. I want ice cream. I want to stay awake in math class and pass it. I want to be successful. I want to score a touchdown. You got it! I don't cry when my dog runs away. I don't get angry at the bills I have to pay. An upset brewed last weekend in Cleveland, Mississippi when the Ready football team faced the Delta State University Statesmen. While we are all partial to our Reddies, the Statesmen were the team to beat. And the Reddies had them beat. That is until Trevor Deeds crossed the goal line for Delta with six minutes left in the game. This scoring drive was set up by an interception thrown by Reddy quarterback Nick Hardesty. If it's even possible to say the interception wasn't entirely his fault. The pass was deflected before landing in the hands of a Delta Statesman. But of course, that's no comfort to Hardesty or the Reddies, as they fell for only the second time this season, 41-37. Hardesty still had a decent performance, throwing for over 200 yards and one touchdown. Terrence Jackson led the Reddies on the ground with 106 yards and one touchdown, while fellow running back Giorgio Hall added two. Hardesty had plenty of options, completing passes to eight different players. Josh Sifo led the receiving corps with five receptions for 76 yards. The Reddies traveled to Magnolia, Arkansas on October 9th to face Southern Arkansas University. When we come back, find out what Henderson athlete found themselves in the limelight this week. Stay tuned. Uh, yo, what up? This is Polly Shore, and you're watching HDTV. HTTV. K S Y. Yo, what up? This is Polly Shore, you're watching HTV. Check it out. Is that good enough? While Reddy quarterback Nick Hardesty was the talk of Reddy Athletics last week for his stellar performance against Arkansas Tech, another Reddy athlete added an accolade to her accomplishments as well. Junior volleyball player Ashley Totten was named the Gulf South Conference West Division Defensive Player of the Week. 
Totten has tallied 116 digs on the season for the Lady Reddies. She had 31 alone against Valdosta State. The Lady Ready volleyball team hosted the University of Arkansas at Monticello last Thursday night, and the ladies put on another dominating performance. The team won the match in three straight sets, 25-19, 25-19, and 25-13. Senior Robin Law accounted for 14 kills and 19 digs. The Lady Reddies are 9-4 on the season. They host Southern Arkansas University on October 5th. The match will start at 7 p.m. When we come back, I'll recap the almost win from the Arkansas Razorbacks. Hey, yo, hey, Ben. I know they hating on you now, but they can't stop you from doing what you do, baby. Show these fools what you about, son. I'm going to keep on making it. Y'all going to keep on taking it. I'm going to keep recreating it while y'all keep on faking it. I love how crazy y'all the chitter chatter and the hating get. I feed off that. Keep on talking because I ain't shaking yet. And I'm getting sick about a second every time I wreck it. You just got to sit back and respect it because you think you hot. If you trying to take my spot, you ain't like me. And a G, -G, -G, -G you not. And I won't stop. My lyrics ain't no need for me to make them soft. Three Mariah Carey couldn't shake them off. Welcome to HTV or Other TV, where our contestants have a chance to be entertained or bored to snooze them. I'd like to introduce our contestant, Ashley. Oh. Ashley, you have to pick a case. I think I'll choose number one. Let's see what you didn't pick. Are you ready to see what you did shoot? HTV, it's the real deal. The Hogs had their hands full this weekend as the number one seeded Alabama Crimson Tide came to town. And this one was certainly a thriller. It's hard to beat a team with the Heisman winner from last year and most likely the winner again this year, but the Razorbacks sure put up a good fight. Alabama's Mark Ingram rushed for a buck 57 in the Crimson Tide's 24-20 victory. Razorback quarterback Ryan Mallett threw for 357 yards, but it just wasn't enough to knock off the defending national champions. But I will give the Hogs credit. They played well. They deserved to win. They were the better team on Saturday. But as we probably all witnessed, the best team doesn't always win. Arkansas will face the Auburn Tigers this weekend. Hog fans couldn't stay depressed for long, especially the ones who root for the boys on Sunday. Finally, after several long weeks, the Dallas Cowboys managed to get their first win of the season by defeating the unbeaten Houston Texans 27-13. And they did it in a dominating fashion. Quarterback Tony Romo passed for almost 300 yards and two touchdowns. Wide receiver Roy Williams accounted for 117 reception yards, making his best game ever as a Cowboy. The game was at Reliant Stadium in Houston, Texas, and a record crowd of over 70,000 witnessed the impressive victory. The Cowboys faced the Tennessee Titans on October 10th. While the Cowboys had more than enough fan support on Sunday, another professional athlete is complaining about the team's lack of fan support. Find out who when we come back. You will grow up someday. You will get a job. You will be working. What do you want to be when you grow up? Where are all of our fans? Where's our support? A good question coming from a college athlete playing for a decent team, or even a professional athlete playing for less than average team. 
but it's kind of crazy coming from the Tampa Bay Rays third baseman Evan Longoria. Last Monday night, the attendance of their game against the Baltimore Orioles barely reached 12,000. Maybe it's understandable if it's just a routine season game, but it wasn't. The Rays had the chance to grab their second playoff berth in the last three seasons, but unfortunately, they couldn't. But no one would have been there to see it even if they had. Fans are the reason sports exist, so we've got to support these athletes and our own athletes. The Ready football team plays at home again on October 23rd against Harding University. The Lady Ready volleyball team plays against Arkansas Tech at home on October 12th. Be a supporter. Be a fan. Cheer on your Henderson State Readies. One last thought for Ready Sports. The Red Wave swim team opens up their season in just two weeks when Centenary comes to town on October 9th. Another great opportunity for you to show your school spirit. So head on over to the Duke Wells Center and support the Red Wave and the Lady Red Wave. That's all for today. Be sure to tune in next week to see if the Ready football team added another tally to their win column. Thanks for joining us. I'm Holly Carter.